and welcome to this episode of IDIS Technology Bytes. In this episode, we will cover the event, event upload, and device configuration of DirectIP Network Video Recorder Setup Interface. Motion detection in a camera can be configured as an event in the NVR. Check the relevant camera in order to enable motion detection. Set daytime and nighttime sensitivity settings between 1 and 5 in sensitivity. Click the zone column to reveal the motion detection blocks. Right click on the mouse to open up the zone setup menu. Detection blocks should only be placed in areas where motion detection is required. Remove blocks from areas like the sky, trees, and moving vegetation and roadways. OK saves the changes and exits the menu. The size of the motion event should exceed the specified number of blocks defined in the minimum block setting in order to trigger a motion detection event. Select Etc. to detect an event on PTZ movement. Actions may be defined for motion detection events. The record option selects which cameras will begin linked recording when an event occurs. Ensure recording schedule is set to event or time and event mode. Any alarm output in the system, whether on a camera or NVR, may be activated for a specific motion event. Check the relevant output to be activated if required. Notifications may be sent through email, callback notifications, push notifications, or SNS. Event Upload will upload an event video clip to a FTP repository if configured. The PTZ option moves a PTZ camera to a specific preset position when an event occurs. Select the associated cameras to monitor when an event occurs in Event Monitoring. The Ignoring Interval setting defines the time for the system to ignore new motion events after the first event is detected. During this time, the system will not produce event log entries or issue remote notifications for new motion events. Ignoring Interval does not affect motion detection recording. The daytime setup allows you to specify when daytime starts and ends. Times outside the specified range will be assumed as nighttime by the system. Trip zone is similar to motion detection. However, an object is only detected when entering or exiting a motion zone. Objects moving but remaining inside or outside the detection zone will not be detected. All trip zone settings and consequent actions are configured in a similar way to motion detection discussed previously. Tampering event detects when the camera view is covered or obscured. Check the cameras to apply the tampering event. Specify the activation time, which has to be exceeded in order to be detected as an event. Each camera features an alarm input and most NVRs feature four alarm inputs. An event is generated when the input device changes state. For example, 
from normally open to normally closed. Check which alarm input to enable. The list includes cameras and NVR alarm inputs are found at the bottom of the list. A title may be defined for each specific input to be more descriptive when seen in a VMS application. Configure the input type as either normally open or normally closed. The video loss event is triggered when the input video signal is interrupted for longer than the activation time setting. Configure the activation time for the time length that needs to be exceeded in order for it to be considered as an event. For cameras equipped with a microphone, the audio input can be monitored and used to trigger an event. Check the cameras to apply the audio detection event. Configure the activation time for the time length that needs to be exceeded in order for the audio input to be considered as an event. Check the Use Ignoring Time box and select Time Setup to specify the audio detection ignore time. Audio detection will be disabled for the specified time after the initial detection. The recording fail event is generated when a previously configured camera fails to be recorded. Check the cameras to apply the recording fail event. Configure the activation time for the time length that needs to be exceeded in order for the recording failure to be considered as an event. The text in event is generated when a connected device sends an ASCII text to the NVR. The setup field is used to configure the device connection and text format. Select the correct port, which can be either RS-232, RS-485, USB serials, or a LAN port. Select Setup to configure the communication settings or port information. Select the correct text-in product. Use generic text to define a text-in format. Define the string that indicates the start of a transaction. This string sequence will trigger the system to recognize the start of a new transaction. Define the string that indicates the end of a transaction. Optionally, a number of lines may be configured to add after the end of a transaction string. The system will recognize the specified transaction end string plus the number of lines as being the end of a transaction. Designate a string to mark the end of a line in line delimiter. Use ignore string to specify a string to ignore from transaction records. Deselecting case sensitive ignores case in strings. If timeout is enabled, the system will assume the end of a transaction if no new string is entered within the specified duration of time. Define a name for the text in device in the title column. ANPR, or LPR, is used when an IDIS ANPR system is connected to the NVR. The ANPR system will generate text in events containing the license plate information. This information is synchronized to the recorded video and can be searched to retrieve recorded video related to the ANPR data. In the setup column, 
configure the LAN port details of the ANPR system. Define a name for the ANPR device. The event occurs when the fan has failed in a camera equipped with a fan. Select which cameras to apply fan error to. When face detection event occurs in the selected camera, the area that the face is detected displays on the screen. Select which cameras to apply face detection to. Set the maximum detected number of faces as 8 or 32 and maximum detect. When the maximum detect count is set as 32, the sensitivity feature will be disabled. Select minimum face size. Queue management is only used in conjunction with an IDIS VA box. An event will be generated if either the number of people or the loitering time length of a group of people exceed the set limits. In the setup column, configure the number of people and the maximum time limits. If VA box data is lost for a period exceeding the set time, a VA loss event will be generated. Configure the activation time for the time length that needs to be exceeded in order for the VA loss to be considered as an event. Event upload is one of the actions previously discussed in the event configuration section. The event upload section is where you configure the schedule, if any, for event uploads. Click the plus sign button to add a schedule. In order to use the event upload feature, NetFS settings and the corresponding FTP sites must be configured in the Network tab and the FTP site Use option must be designated as All or Clip Copy. Select the required day or days when the schedule is valid. Select a time range for each selected day or days. Event upload actions will only take place during the scheduled time. The FTP feature uploads event detected images or video clips to the FTP site when an event occurs. Click the plus sign button to add an FTP site. Select an FTP site from the list. It displays the list of the registered FTP sites in site. Select between CBF and MP4 in upload file. When selecting CBF, the NVR will upload an event detected video clip to the FTP site. When selecting MP4, the NVR will attach an event detected image file to the FTP site. Site info displays information for the FTP site. All IDIS cameras and NVRs feature alarm outputs. The alarm out of the device is used to configure which alarm output will be activated when an event occurs. Click the plus sign button to add a schedule. Select a value between 5 seconds and 15 minutes to define the dwell time of the alarm out condition. Define a name for the alarm out. Configure the day and time range.
In the mode column, the alarm output can be manually turned on or off, or it can be configured as event mode to activate when an event has occurred. In the channels column, select the relevant camera or NVR alarm output to activate. The remote control feature allows the NVR to be remotely operated via the RS-232 or RS-485 port, typically by a remote keyboard. Select either the RS-232 or RS-485 port. Click the Setup button and then select the correct baud rate, parity, data bits, and stop bits for the device connected to the NVR. Select the device from the remote control product list. Note, if the RS-232 and RS-485 port are used for PTZ control or text input, the remote keyboard cannot be configured. That's it for now. Thank you for watching this episode of IDIS Technology Bytes. Please see our other tutorials covering various topics of IDIS products.